gonna tell me? You're gonna tell me how to do the list? Eat a burger. You want, eat a burger. Put it to, you put ate it to rest. Do it. So now we know. Daddy's at the wall for until eight hours, I and Davey's watching it. XXX down in the fucking basement. Get that out of my face. <laughs> but you punch the burger? I'm gonna throw it. Did Definitely. you go to therapy? Yes. Yeah, we changed it. We're back up. Come on, Dude, you, got, you, got a lot, you got a lot of Bobby Knight in you. You got a lot of <laughs> Bobby Knight in you. We've seen <laughs> him two places. All right, good. Got it. Yep. Good. All right, Happy New Year, April Fool's Day, April 1st. Also, RIP Bobby Knight. Uh, draw to you by DraftKings. Rewind and take it back to the days of chillaxing on the beach and all-day fun with spring break on DraftKings Casino. Play exclusive games like Fan Fave Rocket. The excitement is endless, the vibes are high, and the cash prizes could be huge. Uh, new players start playing with just 5 bucks and get 100 back instantly in casino credits. Download the app and use code RICO, R-I-C-O, to book your one-way ticket to fun with the DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Uh, all right, so we saw the Rocket men, obviously. The, um, I, I got to get in on that. It's been basketball nonstop. I got to get in on the Rocket games. Yeah. Um, for sure. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make sure that happens, whether it's special guest or – Figure it out ourselves. You gotta get a I, suit. You gotta get a different suit, though. Yeah, I gotta get in on that. Uh, maybe just Elton John. Wow, that would be hilarious. Kind of like Elton John. I love Elton. Dave John. hated the movie. I like the movie. Healthy debate. Thought it was a good movie. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna address some housekeeping. I don't know what's going on with the tie. My mother got it for Christmas. I can't figure it out. I'm gonna remake it live now. But it's wide. It's one of the super wide ones. Mm. Where'd you get it? Your mom? You said your mom got it? Yeah, I think like eBay or it's it does not uh we don't love it. I, I mean I like the design, the Tabasco, but we don't love like the fact that it looked like SpongeBob, right? Oh. Well, there's nothing wrong with looking like SpongeBob. And look, it's like SpongeBob again. I mean this is Yeah, the knot is really fat. It's short and wide. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but we'll figure it out. Uh all right, Alabama's in the final four, folks. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Ain't burying that lead. <laughs> We ain't burying that lead. Uh, we got one. You know, we said it was uh, from the get-go. They could play with anybody. Just be patient. Be patient. Where are you at with your initial bracket? Because I'm going to pull it up real quick. Uh, not great. I think I think UConn and, uh, Let me pull it up. and Alabama. Um, I know you had UConn I think, Alabama. I think I had Tennessee over Purdue. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I had Houston. I definitely had Houston. So... Not terrible. Well, Houston could have been there if uh, they didn't have an injury. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. I know, you know, Marty's riding that Duke flag pretty high, but. Can we show this, Jason? Houston would have been different. So, if you want, you want three out of the final four. Let's zoom in a little bit. What did I end up getting? Two? Yeah, you just have. Yeah, uh, Creighton. Okay. two. And I can only get one into the final? All right. Um, yeah, not terrible. How many out of the Elite Eight? One, two. Shit. None out of uh, – two out of the Elite Eight. That's not good. But uh, it happens. So, it is what it is. But we said Bama from the get-go. They can play with anybody, you know. So, this is a train to be riding them. Mm -hmm. To be there is even better. Like, it will be one thing to watch on TV. Oh, you're hosting a Final Four party. To be there is going to be crazy. There's people saying, when's the meetup? When are we meeting up? When is Bama? You got the gear all gassed up. It's uh, it's ready to go. So, definitely excited. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, it's, it's one of those prophecies. Like I, I just said, they could play with anybody. It's even better. I went to a game this year, you know, like spent your money on in Christmas to go out to fucking Creighton, Omaha, Nebraska. Um, they had that tough stretch. Like now everybody's clamoring. Oh, he's the best coach in the world. The best. It's funny how things change from like a month and a half ago. Right. Yeah, I mean, I thought Nate Oates is a good coach when I saw him shut down DeAndre Ayton and uh, Torment a few years back. And then I realized DeAndre Ayton's awful at basketball, so I don't even <laughs> give him credit for that <laughs> okay, anymore. Okay, all right, fair enough. You don't give him credit for the fact that he was a 13 seed that year? No, not at all anymore. All right, fine. Um, people were picking Arizona to win that year. so uh, Yeah, but, you know, it's they can play with anybody. They're, they're playing out of their minds. Defense is really, really good. This is the test. This is the all-time test. UConn, I don't know what to make of UConn or what you even do to slow them down because they're playing so well. But they can't. They have not been shooting well, so there's that. Um, we'll see. You know, lots to, to kind of unpack from there. Edie has also been taking names, kicking ass, and taking names. I think they're on a collision course, Yeah. if I had to guess, because I don't think NC State, it's a great story. They don't have anybody. 
Also, like, anytime you fill out Final Fours, do three chalk and one wild card. Because that's what it's been the last, like, ten years. Aside from that Duke, uh, UNC. But even UNC was an eight that year. So it's always been wild cards. So uh, it goes to show you, just take your chances in the brackets. Uh, but ED is kicking ass, taking names. I don't think NC State has anybody who could touch them. They're on a collision course now. I think it's UConn against Purdue. Did you see the clip that – I don't know if it went, like, fully viral, but it was ED at, yes. like, a party – going into a room with a girl and he looks like Andre the Giant like ducking Actually down no I didn't see this. Oh my god. I saw the clip when in the post game when he's like yeah we're fucking winners like right to the to the guy. I thought that was good. There's one of him pulling a girl at a frat party and there's like there's three girls in the background like watching him go <laughs> into the, the room and like the door is obviously normal size but he's a giant so he's like ducking Yeah, down he's a good girl. kid. I interviewed him. He's so wait, he said he was overlooked as a prospect. Didn't he go to IMG Academy? I think so. And he has I don't like, know. he's like 7 foot feet tall. How is he overlooked? I don't know. I don't know. All those, that's all little revisions. Those guys know this, you know, you hope that they tell the truth, but I don't know. Oh, that feels um, like fake motivation to me. Yeah. Yeah, he did go to IMG. Uh, we got to give Will, let's open up with this, because I know he's probably, you know, he's got, his, he's got his guys out there. Will Compton, did you see this video? Go to my blog. I got you. You see him at the potato sack race? I did not. You didn't see this video? He's going to think I'm obsessed with him. I swear to God, I just see it on the timeline. He went all out. For the potato sack race. Oh, the Thanksgiving race? Uh, Easter. Or, 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 why is he thinking? Easter? I don't know why he said Thanksgiving. Sorry. It's, it's quite frankly the most opposite I've yeah. ever seen. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. No, nah, well, never mind. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Let's do it. All right, ready? Yeah, let's do it. Hello, Frankie's the girl. That's him laying on the ground. I mean, you gotta love the effort, though. Yeah, that's so. That's the blog. Gotta love the effort. Like, yeah, is it a little hardo to go out this? Yeah, hundred percent. But gotta love the effort. Um, also, some little housekeeping. Let's uh, Jessica, let's me and you talk. So, yeah, I, it seems like people are very, very upset. Uh, in terms of the the interruption, I again, I watched it back. I apologize to you. The interruption like isn't warranted, but and it's also I think people are trying to be like you're comparing. From the bottom of my heart, and if you feel that at all, that's just not true. Um, I just was trying to almost make a case for how awful this was. Yeah, and you and, and I was going spoke on, about and it beforehand, it. and I right. was the one who said that like right. he had it worse. So it's like it's not like you were saying something that I hadn't said, and we had agreed on this prior. So anything you said, I didn't take offense to it, and in real time, didn't think anything of it. I saw obviously people saying shit on Twitter. There was like, a lot of a lot of comments to be addressed. They yeah. wanted us on the unnamed show. They think you're mad. And no. again, if you are, no, absolutely that's my not. own like that putting my foot in my time. mouth. Yeah, but it is it's a little bit of a lesson as well. Like somebody's talking, leave it alone. You know what I mean? Don't interrupt. So, and I just want to. But with that, <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> But I just want to take the time to say thank you to everybody. A lot of people reached out. Thank you for Yes, the, that was the other part of it is yeah. I felt awful again as I interrupt you. It was a great message. Yeah. And that's what made, like, now it became a thing of, like, I kind of fucked that up. So I don't think you fucked it up. And I think uh, people had, you know, outside of that, people had really good, fe like, feedback to it. And people said, like, it helped them, you know, push them to donate, which was obviously the, the, the reason I, uh, I wrote the blog and said the story. And I never wanted to, like... Be like, oh, look at me when I told the stories. It's kind of why I waited so long to go public with whatever it was when I wanted an opportunity to help someone through it. Um, but thank you to everyone who donated. Thank you to everybody who bought a shirt um, and just, like, raised awareness. Uh, I went to the, the funeral on Saturday. It was very sad, but um, it, it seemed like Stephanie, the wife, was, was definitely, um, you know, a warrior. And she spoke to the uh, everybody in during the mass, and she was very strong, very poised, and... Um, She's going to have a support system that, that's going to help her get through this. And uh, it's nice to be able to say we played a small, small part right. in that. Yeah. And, again, I think the, it'd be nice if she had a support system or other families had a support system moving forward with the cops. But that's a different kind of conversation. Yeah. So, unfortunately. But, uh, again, I, I, you know, I wanted to address that. Like, you know, uh, it, did, it did get some legs. Um, I didn't expect done. it to get some legs as it was going. But – yeah, it was, it was oh, the unnamed show was the chat was like, Go, bring him in, bring him in. I can't believe he did. And again, like, did it look uncensored? True. But there are times where you just say something. I don't even want to say stupid. You, you tried. I tried to make a point for the case of what was going on. And I guess put my foot in my mouth a little bit of cutting it off. You know what I mean? But we had the conversation prior and like right. we had said that. And it's like I had said that. So I did not feel point zero zero one percent like anger to yeah. you at all. So. People were getting offended for you. Yeah, on my behalf, which right. I don't need to do. 
Yeah. And I do think we're in a spot where if it was, you you 100% air it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but like you and I are close enough where if they, that was real, I would have texted you. And like I didn't even text you to say anything about it. I accidentally was, I was like liking replies that were like thank you for writing this. <laughs> yes, and I accidentally texted actually liked funny because now reply it's like that was talking shit to you. And I was like, oh, I know you. I know I'm on my phone. I know you're on your phone all the time. And I'm like, shit, he's gonna see this. I was like, yo, I did not mean to like that. Like just so you know, I don't give a fuck about that. I actually that part of the story, the fact that you were liking the negative things, like then it's got legs as well. It's like, well, which way does he feel? Well, I was so, liking the positive, agreed. and I was going so fast that a negative. Yeah. Slip through the cracks, but I unliked it right away. Yeah. Sometimes what they do is they say something positive in the beginning, yeah. and then the real bottom is the Great negative. You gotta read so the whole powerful. thing. Also, fuck yeah, Rico. Rico's a moron. <laughs> um, Phil, load him up. All right. Uh, let's start out with JFK from Chicago. Interesting. Not Dallas. Uh, okay, Rico. Since uh, Scalp Prez is all on UConn this weekend <laughs> with his future, I had a question for you. But hypothetically, if you fed a husky a piece of gum, what do you think their flavor favorite flavor would be? <laughs> I am going to avoid this question. Uh, that is fucked up in all seriousness that, yeah. that you know, he, they had no idea. I guess, did the dog, did we get the full story? Did the dog get into the gum? Yes, I believe so. Okay. That's, that's what happened. So that's even worse. I don't think he was feeding the dog icebreakers. Gum. Yeah, no, I don't think so as well. But that's even worse. Um, no, I think a husky, I'll give you a cut of beef. I think husky's like filet mignon. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're going to play it safe. Then ribeye, because I like ribeyes as well. Uh, next, next yeah, follow? give me the next one. Yeah, we moist, ain't. moisty turtle. We already, we already gonna ruin potentially ruin this guy. Well, could will ruin this guy for six hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> and he's gonna, he's already mad. He's gonna sit next to me. Oh, uh, uh, we ain't, we ain't fucking with the dog. Yeah. Respect to Miss Peaches. Uh, moisty turtle, you're on. Yo, what's Rico. up? What's up, man? Um, not gonna lie, dude. Gotta, gotta, gotta be able, gotta, gotta be authentic and. Like man of honor, I have gotten shredded by Alabama. They, I've been betting against them yep. every game. Five unit burgers. It like I, I called in last week. I remember talking. Man, they have played defense. Like yes. you were, you're very validated, and I've been trolling you. Like I said, for because uh, they they've lost me money when I bet on them before. So I'll say that. Congrats to Alabama. Congrats to having your team in the Final Four. That being said, I. Uh, there's no chance I don't bet on UConn yeah, this weekend. And I, I was waiting for solely, that. Yeah, I was waiting solely for that. because that's UConn. But I will say if they beat UConn, there's no way I don't bet. I don't care if Purdue wins. I'm betting on Alabama. They bet, yeah, I, they, uh, they think, played Purdue once before. They lost by four or six. Uh, it was close. Right. It was really close. Yeah. So, no, like I said, congrats. They fucking smoked me. I will think twice about that when I challenge Nate Oates and – People can say that they got a cakewalk or whatnot in the first two rounds, but, I mean, you'll say it. You've watched basketball enough. Winning in March is hard, so it doesn't matter if it's Grand Canyon or Charleston. Well, the yeah. Like, I they also, still put it on them. They scored 100. I also think anybody, get, if you're in a high four seed, gets a cake. So, Purdue had a cakewalk in the first round. So did UConn. Right. You know what I mean? So, and Grand Canyon is one of the best mid-majors. So, oh know, yeah, what are that you going to do? sloppy, gritty, gritty yeah. game. Like, that was who wanted it more. So. Right. Yeah, no, like I said, congrats. Yeah, I think uh, that's the that's the thing to take away from this is is if Alabama was scoring 125 points a game, you'd be like, all right, it's just working. They're shooting the lights out. They're winning grind outs against uh, Grand Canyon and Clemson. Carolina was a was a fest, but they got the stops that they needed to. So you know they're they're winning the grind out type games, and that's what's been really fun to watch. So um, they can yeah, adapt. Now, well. is it annoying that for six months or four months they didn't play any defense? A hundred percent, but. The talent's always been there, so credit to uh, to Oates when it gets it done. Yeah, and the other thing I might look at is maybe a first half under, or maybe a whole game under if it's a, I, I a little bit of a delay the spread yeah. or the total or anything. But I really like that because if Alabama can stop them and UConn isn't really, if UConn isn't as hot, I guess like they're going to get their shots for sure. Yeah. But if Alabama has been playing the right defense, I think they're going to overinflate that number a lot. That's yeah, just like me because uh, I've been betting a lot of unders. But yeah, Tra Travi so. has a as a as an idea of what's going to happen in this game, and it could be a full on gimmick. I'm not going to give it away, but uh, there was a game against Auburn a couple years ago where they just completely leaned into the threes and didn't try to do anything inside. So I think mm. there's a shot they shoot 65 threes in this game. And just, and just yeah, roll with but, it from there. Now, is that the process of winning? I don't know, but we'll see. Yeah. No, like I said, uh, congrats, man. I, like I said, I think you deserve it. You haven't had a team uh, be in this sort of spotlight in a while, right. so it's, it's cool for you. And also, you know, I 
I hate that they're going up against UConn because yeah. I would love to bet on them and be like, oh, I'm on the right side now, but I have to bet UConn this game. Like, yeah, I think should, either I'm not way, though, money against them again. I think either way is a difficult draw. I think Edie is, is a problem on the other side and UConn's a problem on the other side, and you were never going to get UConn and Purdue on the same side of the bracket, so it's kind of unavoidable. So uh, we, yeah. are, we are where we are. You would have had to beat one of them is the way I look at it, so there's no use complaining. Just get out there and, and roll the balls out and let's get going, you know? Yeah. All for right. sure. Have Appreciate good it, week, bro. Rico. Good luck. Preach out. Good luck. Uh, Phil, before we get to that, what optimism level do you have on the Mets? Like, talk me through it. I mean, I went into the season with zero expectations. Yeah, exactly, so right? I can't really be down or up. I'm not – the way I was talking to Clemmer today, I said it'd be great if they just get rained out the next three days. Yeah, they really are a mess. So yeah. it's going to be a long summer. Um, I, w- I have some breaking news for you. Is this one of your guys, uh, Steve Lutz, just took the job at um, – was it Oklahoma State? Was Steve Lutz from Chattanooga or East Tennessee State? Western Kentucky. No, he wasn't one of my guys. Okay, I didn't know. That's why I asked. No, I like Western Kentucky, but he took the job at Oklahoma State, huh? Yep. Yeah, these guys are filling in quick. Interesting. I don't um, keep track of who you're friends with in uh, the college basketball circle. No, yeah, we, we like Western Kentucky. They did send some stuff. Western Kentucky's nice guys. Uh, I'm trying to think, Jeske, if there was anything. Oh, uh, let's grade this. You guys been watching Curb? New season, I haven't really watched. Really? No. It's been pretty good. It's en- ending next week. Last episode next week. I'll try to binge it because they're, what, 30-minute episodes. Yeah, so Maybe I can easy. binge it for next week. Super we'll be able easy. to have some, uh, some takes for you. Is there anything uh, that is relevant to anything going on in the, in the world? No, I mean, I feel like he always has rele- relevancy. But the Lori Lachlan episode was really good. Yeah, I, I saw something that she like, leaned into yeah. it. She's also still a rock in it. Yeah, I don't think that goes away. Man. Crazy. It just doesn't go Asian away. with grace. Yeah. Uh, all right, Phil, give me another one. Trey from Memphis. All right, Rico, I got a question for you related sure. to knock, knockout pools. Yeah, um, tough. So, Those are tough. So we got we got two teams left, two two people. You got to be objective with this, though. I've got UConn. The other guy has Bama. 10K on the line. What's the proper chop? Well, if again, the I just, Bama yeah, guy wants to chop it. I want to reiterate again that, that, that I think you're talking about cupcakes. 10,000 cupcakes, 10,000 cupcakes. 10, cupcakes out there. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm I think, boy. I think, I think with the money line of Bama being like five to one, you're in a pretty good spot. I offered. Yeah. I offered him a, what I thought was generous. I'm waiting to see if he counters. Oh, you never should have. Fl- you should have just done it yourself. I'm a good, I'm a good guy. Okay. What do you want me to do? Yeah, All right. I guess I would be a little bit greedy. I would just take it's, it and run. It was Easter Sunday. Oh, okay. Man That's God. nice. That's nice. That's nice of you. But, yeah, I think you're in a good spot. Put it this way. If I, it was rever- rolls reversed, take away the Bama bias, I'd be like, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. The line's in your favor. You know what I mean? All right. I, I, I figured it was. Just thought it was being nice. Didn't know, uh, what, didn't was know the, what you would What say. was the split, just for my own reference? Did you offer him 2,000 cupcakes? I, uh, how, how many did you say? You say 1,000? 2,000. No, no, no. I offered him uh, about half that. Okay, that's the right move. You're in a yeah. You're in a huge spot. That's not a bad deal. All right, all right, all right. Appreciate you. All right. Yeah, it's not a bad deal. Um. What else was I gonna say? Uh. Any comment on uh? No, that's a good one. Little, little bit of Red Rico coming out on Pick Central. Oh yeah, I fucking I just didn't listen. I just I truthfully didn't listen to him, and then I was getting so frustrated because I thought I was right. I loved but, it. I thought it was great. Yeah. yeah he it started was, a debate with something that wasn't even debated. It, yeah. was, <laughs> it wasn't even debated. Uh, that's the husband part. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just get, uh, you're like, you know, you're not listening. You're just, I don't know. It's a, that was uh, that was the disrespected part. Like, you know, 30 years of, they say too, they, they want to give it, I say my, my tagline is Rico Bosco, the voice for the disrespected. I like that. You know? Um, I also, I should, I just tweeted this before. Did you guys see this? Uh, and then we'll get to Tate, too, coming out of the second half. Um, 25, 25th anniversary of 10 Things I Hate About You. Have you guys seen that movie? Yeah. You have? Yes. Unbelievable, right? Fantastic. I want to do 25 favorite quotes. Some of the quotes right are... Right now? Or no, we... no, 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 no. Not right, <laughs> not right now. Off the top of my head, to be a hell of a rip. Uh, I think there's one or two that crack me up the most, and I'm interested. Both come from... I'll give you a hint. Both come from um, Patrick, who plays... Uh, Heath Ledger, mm-hmm. played by Heath Ledger. Do you know the two that I'm going to say? The two that crack me up the most? I do not. All right. 
I'll give it away. I don't really care. One and two. When he when she's wearing, he makes her wear the fucking vest. Yeah. Uh, Larissa Olnick, who, by the way, what happened to her? Because she probably is still a rocket. She should be in Hollywood, like, playing, like, moms and stuff. But she puts on the pregnancy vest, and he walks in and goes, who knocked up your sister? Floors me every time. And then the other one, when he keeps talking about the girl that everyone's, uh, same thing. He's talking about Bianca, and they're all fucking trying to date her and this and that. And he says, what's with what's with this chick? She have beer-flavored nipples or something. That's it's, a good one. It's the best. That's the best line in the movie. What, so. is, what does he do in, like, in this? He kicks it. Doesn't he do something with a tire? It's not, it's not a quote, but he, like, kicks a tire down the stairs in the school or something like that. You know, it's not... I don't know. For some no, reason, she kicked a kid in the balls. No, there's some scene where, like, there's something with a tire that, like, he kicks down the stairs. I just thought it was badass because he's, like, obviously the ultimate badass in that movie. I don't remember that. Uh, but The song, about. it's high school, by the way, is, like, unreal. That's, like, a real high school that they filmed it at. You know what I'm talking about? Are it's you like sure? A, because I, I don't know. Let's find out. like, Zoe 101 was filmed at Pepperdine, and everyone said that was a real high school. Oh, movie. really? Let's, see. Well, let's double check. Be because that is a castle of a fucking campus. Castle of a campus. I think it's a high school. Uh, okay, so it was mostly shot in the Seattle metropolitan area with many scenes filmed at Stadium High School in Tacoma, Washington. Yeah, so you're right. It's a yeah. real fucking high school. It's crazy. Wow. Uh, Phil, give me one more. We'll go to the half. Uh, Yanni didn't tell me where he's from. Probably from New York. He's a regular caller. Yeah, what's going on, Rico? What's up? First and foremost, I want to put my hand up. You know, it's not easy for me to be the bigger man because of, you know, how thin and in shape I am. But you were right. A couple weeks ago, we discussed UNC versus Bam I said you were bugging. I was wrong. I yeah, was wrong. Play. You got it right. You yeah. know, fair enough. Sometimes the heart knows better than the mind, I guess. You know, still can't believe you didn't game of the year it. No, so I, I could talk you into that. Unfortunately, you did not. I should have. I felt better about but, Clemson, uh, to be honest with you. I should have game of the year at Clemson. Because I felt like once they won, they weren't losing that game. But, that's fair. That's fair. But they've it's been right. a, they've been a wagon a all the way through. Up, upcoming this next week. Game of the year? Uh, no, I, I don't know if I want to go against Kling, <laughs> Kling against Kong. I do year. love the 11. The line is crazy. The line is crazy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. another wager. We've been 4-0 against the spread, I'm pretty sure, in the tournament. Covered Charleston, covered Grand Canyon, covered UNC, and covered Clemson. So, 4-0, wagon in the tournament. But Kling Kong is a different kind of thing. But, yeah, give me the 11. We're going to shoot our way into a uh, – into a win so give me the 11 all right i got i got one more thing sure. so ever since ever since you know the prez first week you know boosted our subs big time hasn't haven't been growing at the maybe the pace that we want to be growing at i got a little idea for you what do you sure. think about a skeleton right we we chit chat with um some scales of past maybe present have some unhealthy debates you know let that let that dog out it's not a bad idea i think Jetsky. I think it's I think it's a great idea. I, an hour long skeleton. Yeah, it's kind of would be like almost like the unblocking a little bit. Maybe I don't hate it. I, I also think when when uh, the tournament's over and like we, all we really kind of have is early baseball, we're gonna try to make it more of a true debate show. So when you guys can call in with uh, like actual pointed questions to go back and forth with Rico on, and we're gonna have some. Uh, I, we teased it before, but we're gonna have some guest judges and, and challenges. Yep. We and, got and some stuff. out of the office videos coming up soon too. So we're gonna we're gonna be. We're, you know, making sure we, we get back on the on the rise. I think we might be hitting the streets of that, Bel- hitting the streets of Belmont. That right? was that was the second uh, that was the second idea of mine. Got to get you out there on the streets. Talk yeah, to I think we're gonna get out on the streets. Me, Phil, maybe walk through some shore houses. The idea I had was walking through a shore house, people while they're moving in, just like Room Raiders. Yeah, and, while they're, and while seeing they're the differences in, what, between girls' shore houses be a and guy? guys' world shore houses. No, we're not gonna be the moving guy, but we're gonna, gonna look at the the shore. You're gonna blow like your back out. <laughs> no, we're not doing any heavy lifting. Yeah, we ain't doing the heavy <laughs> lifting. But, but yeah, no, there's no some, doubt about that. We got that. some out of office stuff we're going to film tomorrow. It's going to come out next week, so we got some cool stuff. We got some stuff going, so we're working out. Uh, all right, let's go halftime, and then we'll get into uh, Tate. Okay. Phil, you still loaded up? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Hello. Hey. Oh, it's so shaky. Ask them where they're from and ask them what they do for a living. I'm from Connecticut, and I'm still in the process for a living. I'm from New York, and I do real estate. Got both their numbers, Phil, or just one? I mean, I was just... 
to being a proud Catholic. Should have said it was your jet or your helicopter. You got to tell the real estate one that you're looking for an apartment. Well, I mean, I mean, I froze. That's I'm yeah. looking for an apartment, so she, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, the day before, Tommy he asked me, "It's like Philly you're going in a helicopter." I mean, I was like, "If I don't go in a helicopter at this point, I'm a pussy." So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, speaking of the best things out, that was that was good content. Speaking of the best things out there, Dave and Buster's, the chance of getting a perfect bracket is one in one hundred and twenty point two billion. Best of luck. For the rest of us, instead of not watching our bracket uh, after after our bracket is busted, why not be rewarded for it? This March, when you lose, you win at Dave and Buster's. Throughout the tournament, we're wasting away your sorrows with two dollar beers. Terms and conditions apply. And anyone whose bracket has been busted can DM Dave and Buster's with a picture of their bracket across social media handles. In reward, David Busters will be giving away 1 million chips of free gameplay while supplies last, terms and conditions apply. But hurry, all chips will be given away and must be redeemed at your local David Busters before the tournament ends. Come to David Busters for $2 beers all tournament long and DM your busted bracket to David Busters for free gameplay while supplies last, terms and conditions apply. All right, let's talk about my man, Tate. Let's talk about it. Who we've started out on a rocky road with Tate way back in the day because, again, I do think it was he's cut from the cloth of Will Compton. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, we'll get that. Now, was it a dick thing to do? Yeah. But I was like, let's get the heavy hitters aligned. And then named him as a heavy hitter and also put him in the same boat as um, Red Rhino. Red, Red Rhino and Ann. So he was very, very upset. Yeah. He was like, you, you know, I'm not doing anything to you. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Um, so he got, and he's good with words. He came right over the top. Uh, then it was still like, I think still he was like taking shots. It was one of those I didn't really care. Uh, but he bailed us out of the. The free throw contest, yep. and that is forever in debt. So, and it turns as it turns out, like both kind of like cut really from the same the cloth. Like, yeah, he likes watching basketball. If you like watching basketball, I could probably get along with you. Yeah. So that's where we're at. But uh, I'm gonna go back at him now, which I'm sure it's gonna be a hit piece because he, you know, he's cut from that cloth. But let's pull up the photo and see if anybody notices anything. Okay. So this is the his. Tweet, and then we'll All right, in a battle of first day of my diet, walked in this morning, but now we've got pizza in the fridge, chicken tendies and fries available, dessert in the lobby, soda everywhere. I got a turkey sandwich on wheat and piece of bread, a banana, and a gluten-free bar. Jason, and piece of bread for what's the your, sandwich? What's your problem with it? You only use it in dire circumstances. Like, my dad used to make uh, the lunches for schools, and he would apologize yeah. in the morning. He'd be like, you got an end. All I got is ends for the – it's all I got. All I got is ends. Like he's. Do you that's, have, it's the. It's not do desired. You have the, do you have the palate of a two-year-old? Uh, I have. It sounds like you do. I do have the palate of a two-year-old. Oh, okay. Well, so that's where I'm my at. Point is you don't think it tastes. Wrong, you don't good. think it tastes a little bit different? It tastes a little different, but it's nice. It's a nice change. Do you want everything to be the exact same? Do you want Sometimes. no spice of life? Sometimes. I think you got to save the You're end boring. piece for toast because that's the only thing it's really good on because it fucks up a sandwich. Like toast in the morning, that's what you save the end piece for. See, I don't even use it for toast. It's one of, I just toss them. You just you get 50, 40 loaves, of, 40 pieces of bread in that loaf. You've really got 38. If you got to do it and you're, you're trying to. It's a sunk to, cost. You got to upgrade the whole meal then with something delicious if you're getting the end piece of bread. Like, like what you said when your dad would apologize. My mom did the end piece of bread. She would give me like a cosmic brownie with the, the lunch too or something that was like elevated snack just so it would make up for it. That is not bad if you use that as like a moist maker for the turkey leftover sandwich on Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm talking I you're about? I talking about the cosmic brownie for a second. I'm like, what the? Oh fuck? no, 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 no. <laughs> the end piece of bread. Yeah, Phil, yeah. you're a psycho. You definitely eat with you eat the end piece of bread like no sweat, right? My mom would make me a sandwich with the end piece of th a bread, but I would just not eat the bread. I just only eat like the you would cold eat the cuts. Sand All right, yeah. so you're not a psycho. All right, but yeah, I don't know. I was surprised by, and also he's like living now. He's making some money. Why is there why end piece they just of bread? Not have the end piece of bread on the loaf like why not just do away with it i think they should and then because it's technically how it's baked it's cut but yeah once you put it in the bag agreed donate it to charity or the less fortunate like i think if maybe we do a, an end piece of bread food drive and every end piece of bread goes to the homeless and yeah it's like muffin bottoms yeah exactly Let's get rid of them uh all right phil load them up all right so we're team anti 100%. bread piece except jason 100%. all right nikki c from chicago you are on Nikki? Nikki, you there? Nikki. First time ever. He dropped, huh? Nikki. Let's give him let's give him ten seconds. Nikki. Nine, eight, Could seven. have been muted. Sometimes he has this he does answer, he's like, I was muted. Probably smoking a Marlboro. He's, he might he might be smoking I mean he right. said, Oh, I'll be on at like three thirty or right. I think he's a Mar he's a parliament guy. That's what that's what I give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second, right? 
All right. I think. What are you walking? He's, to he's definitely hiding at work. <laughs> he's definitely hiding at work. Oh, Kelly's a good one. Kelly, come in. Kelly's known. So I saw real quick Can you come on in the, the shot? spot. I saw you come in the shot. Yeah, I saw yeah. you post a picture of your parents. Yeah. They look. What do you think? No offense. Your dad looks way nicer than the red cooler guy. I was expecting like a trash bag oh, guy. Oh, oh. Well, I he's remember all that story. Up. It's Easter Sunday. He's okay. all dressed up. He's, all right. all, he's wearing his, his light pink oh, yeah. uh, Easter shirt. He wears it, I think, every Easter right. with the with the pants he like, wears to work every day. If you were making a sandwich of bread, yeah. you were raised from the same kind of cloth we were. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to tell you who did it because I think that lights the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I already know. No the end piece of bread? <laughs> so here's Fair or foul? Here's the thing with that. I, I am not a, a shamer of the end piece of bread, but you ha aesthetics are everything, okay? When yes. you're making that sandwich, you flip it on the other side so nobody knows that you're eating that shit, okay? Sure. You can eat that shit all day. Don't waste Bread. We don't waste anything in the right. house, but aesthetics are everything, and never forget that. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. That's 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 girl mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Girl Later. mind. That's it. Thank All you, right. Kelly. Girl mind. You get one haircut, they're blowing kisses at you. Jesus no. Christ. Yeah. Um. Is Nikki? Nikki, are you on now? Can you talk? Nikki. Is He'll he come back. He's gotta come back. Oh my bad. Nikki, you're on. Nikki. He's back. Give him some back? Let's give him another 10. That's a good point. Hide it. 10. All right, we're back for good. How we doing, yeah, boys? We're good, we're good. Let's go. What were you hiding? You hiding from work? Dude, I, I, I told you I'm in the freight business. I, right. I told them I, no meetings at 3 o'clock. <laughs> healthy debate, 3 o'clock. And they put a meeting at 3 o'clock, Central Time, you know? Yeah. I know you're big on the Central Eastern. Hey, real quick, Bam, a big four, Nathaniel big four, Lowe, baby. Final Burns. four. Nathaniel Oates, Greg Burns, Steven, SID, Enrico Bosco. That's my Bama big four. Hey, you know Steven, the SID? I know him, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, he's a good one? Yeah, he's a good, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy? Yeah, I just was asking, you know. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, they – Oates hiring anyone? Uh, I don't know. We're going to figure out who the assistant coach is, and we'll get right in there. But we're going to have an opening yeah, soon, maybe. so – Opening for you, maybe, Nick, huh? what's your uh, – I don't know about that. Nick, what's your availability next Thursday? Next Thursday? <laughs> I already talked. I'll call off work right now. All right. Well, 50-50. Hey, fuck, you show me a check for $70,000. <laughs> I'll quit right fucking now. All right, I appreciate it. We'll let you know Wednesday. It's going to be a quick uh, All right. Quick turnaround. Real quick, I got to get, I gotta get the boys in just real quick. Hey, Meek, is the Mets going to be worse than the uh, White Sox this year? I think so. I'm just going to hang up on him there. <laughs> All right. I don't know about worse than the White Sox, but he was probably gassing up Jetski too, which is yeah. unfair. No, nah, it's okay. I don't need it. Jetski probably had all the people call in and uh, and harass the show after uh, Thursday's yeah. performance, too. So Jetski's, Jetski's laying his bombs in. We uh, had a private show Thursday where we just talked shit about Rico. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, all right. Give me, uh, give me the next one. Uh, Gerald from Astrology. Astrology? <laughs> oh my Atlantis, Rico! Alabama has done it again. Yeah. Do you like astrology? I like astrology. Here, here is a good one for Jerry. The signs. Do you know the eclipse on the eighth is about to happen two days before the uh, the game? I thought it's and two days after the game. Isn't the game on this? No, it's. The Six. game's on the 6th, the Eclipse on the 8th. Okay, so that's a championship game. In the history of the uh, United States, guess what symbol of that solar eclipse is going to complete? Uh, I don't know. An A. Wow. There's three different eclipses. There's three different eclipses. So. All right. Talk to Jerry about the signs. <laughs> I offered Jerry a chance to get in on this Bama team. I offered Nikki Smokes a chance to get in on this Bama team. <laughs> Hey, I do like the way you uh, tie your tie. I do it very simple. I do it the the, the skinny side, it. wrap it twice, and tuck it, and easy peasy. Yeah, I heard about that. But I do a Windsor, and we'll see. <laughs> Is this what's his name's brother? <laughs> it could be. It could be. Uh, I, I'm, I'm blanking on his name. Oh, God. What was his name? Chad, help us out. Who was our boy who used to call in? From from the synagogue. Is is for guy from Israel, right? Yeah. yeah. What was this name? Yeah. What the fuck was he? He just stopped calling in after having like here and called. Oh God. Irving, Irving. Irving. That's not me today. That's not me today, sir. Irving. <laughs> Irving from the chat. Irving from the chat. Yeah, Irving. Irving. Irving All right, man. Gog. Have a good day. Irving from the gog. <laughs> Irving from the gog. Oh my God! I just can't. It's still fat, dude. Whatever. It's super wide. I can't figure it out, but it looks Pose. good for the show. Uh, all right, uh, Phil, give me, empty him out. 
Um, Game two tonight, by the way. Gary from Queens. Jetsky, I didn't realize how much of a trash talker you were. I'm a big trash talker. Mug it for the cameras, yeah, yelling at the guys. Three to the dome. I don't know. Tonight's a, an X Factor. I, if this guy fucking. I'm going to be game time. I have something that, uh, an oblo that I can't all right. miss, but hopefully I get in there. That's a little bit more playing time for me. I'll hate, I'll hate that. Uh, all right, Phil, next one. This is, this is Gary, Gary from, from Queens. Gary from Queens, you're on. Rico, congrats. What's up? Thanks, bro. Uh, I have a quick one from 10 Things I Hate About You that I've, okay. I've used. Uh, Shamelessly in the past, uh, Michael the Geek, the guy that helps out uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yep. When they're they're at the party and he goes up to the girls, he's like, you know, I'm thinking you get a Tercel. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Toyota. <laughs> yeah, I don't hate that one. That guy ended up having a good career. Um, I'm trying to think, there's a few. Uh, I like the one when she he goes uh, he's explaining that he delivered twins to a 15 year old and she's like what did you know what the mother said to me and then the daughter goes uh, I'm a crack whore shouldn't have let my boyfriend knock oh me up God. you don't remember that no bro that's in the movie let's uh, and then he goes yeah well that's what she should have no she go he goes I should have listened to my father. And then she's like, she didn't say that. And he's like, yeah, well, she would have if she wasn't so doped up. Oh. <laughs> um, shouldn't laugh at that, but it's healthy debate. Comedy. Who's better? Healthy debate. Who's the better one? Uh, Bianca from that movie or Amanda uh, Jennifer Love uh, Hewitt? I don't know. Larissa Olnick's the got bigger the bigger rocket of the time. Jen, I think Jennifer Love Hewitt do it. I think. Yeah, Larissa Olnick's a rocket. I don't know. I don't mean to like. I don't want to slander women. All women are beautiful, but Jennifer Love Hewitt aged better. They both – well, I'll give you this. Okay, here's why. No, I just no. looked up Jennifer Love Hewitt. Who's better, who's better at the time? Jennifer Love Hewitt – if you're talking straight characters in the movie, Jennifer Love Hewitt took a long time to realize she was with an asshole. Yes. This girl realized right away this guy was an asshole. Yes. Now, she was still, like, you know, cared about her bags and cared about, like, how she looked and all that shit. But I think Bianca is a little bit more grounded than – Yes. Um – Amanda Beckett. I'll give you that. So, also my girl, Ju- my girl off. Julia Stiles uh, is slept on in that movie. Now her teeth are jacked up. I just rewatched <laughs> it. Now I didn't realize how bad her teeth were. Yeah, but she's a Met fan, um, Gary. Really? She's a big Met fan, Gary. I know. I can't. I can't even talk about the Mets yet. I want to get through this no, tournament. So my question for you, my question for you though is. If you lose Saturday, do you just completely come back Monday with the UConn gear on and just root with Dave nah, the whole way? Uh, I will be rooting with Dave. Oh. But, well, they beat us fair. If, if, you beat, if me, they you beat us, you're a UConn guy. I like Curly. If they beat you, they beat you fair and square. But when you lose, it's going to be really hard the next day to put the sweatsuit on. I'm... That's really hard. But you're a fan. Of, you're a fan of the people, though. Not, I know, I know. Of, but ba- coaches, I am a fan, a fan of the team. team. Bama's my so team. So you can't, you can't rub UConn in my face all year with Hurley and try to dap up Hurley. I can garden. do whatever I want. I know head to head you're gonna. I know head to head you're gonna pick uh, Bama, but once Bama loses, if they lose, I think you got to just go full full heel and just go yeah. supporting UConn and, and ride with Dave. Yeah. We'll see. I don't. That's if he wants Probably me. That's ri- for your business too. That's if he wants me riding with him. There's a very obvious chance he might not want me riding with him. He may not want your stink on. He don't want that stink on there. Yeah. Even though the stink is very low that's, right now, because well, running into a that final. That could be board. part of it. That could be part of the speed yeah. though. Now, Gary, I think I think we might do two events with you next year. By the way, with the St. John's people, because if you notice or you remember, Bam is coming to town next year as well. Yep, can't so, wait. So we'll maybe we'll do a pre pregame for that, and then we'll definitely That'd get the PCBC people involved. Yeah. Listen, guys... get get a line, get a line to Nate Oates. I watched game film on the three Johnny's games against UConn this year. You could argue we've played UConn tougher than any team yep. this year. Definitely and I hate to say because I know it's I know it's not Nate Oates' game, but the Johnnies killed them in the mid range because they do the drop coverage of Klingon. Yep. Yeah, it's not that we're not. You're not I mean, gonna, yeah. you're not gonna outshoot them. You're not gonna outshoot them from three. As good as Bama is from three, they dagger threes all game. Yep. So I think your best chance is to slow it down. I, I, it's like against everything Bama does, but it'd be such a curveball that I think it might catch them off guard. All right. Yeah. I mean, we don't rule out the mid range if it's gonna matter and win us a game. So for one game, we can adapt the mid range. We'll see. We got shooters everywhere. It are you worried about the? Are you worried about playing in the football stadium? Depth perception on the shots? Uh, everybody should be. Yeah, I think everybody should. Well, they they're used to it. They played it. Yeah, everybody should be. But uh, we'll figure it out. 
Jeske, is that a breaking news tweet or just? No, nah, I just I had to show Phil some talent. That All right. Put them on the timeline. Right, we I'll always worry maybe during this hour. Guest. Could be maybe a potential guest. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm this show. Glennie's maybe. Oh okay. <laughs> I like that. Guys back there killing it. All right, thanks, Gary. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, all right, Phil, empty him out. Uh, Jersey Mike. Mike from Jersey. Rico, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Great to be back on Healthy Debate. I wanted to touch on uh, ten things I hate about you yes. real quick before I get to my favorite one. It's not necessarily a funny line, but when uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt I learned French for you. Okay. It's one of those it's one of those things that, you know, makes you think back to when you were a teenager and like the weird like random uh, shit you do to try and impress a girl. Like when you go to a cell when you go to a t- uh kind of on a fake date to a tanning booth and I went in the I went in the tanning booth for the first time in my, oh my life. God. Yeah, put a sock on the old or, brown hole. <laughs> but uh Or when you go to a yoga class, I, yep. not naming names, but why? I, you know, been there, done that. Yeah, okay. All right. That's a good one. But uh, I like the other one, too. This is a great one. When he's like, you know, you don't talk to me. Like, you, you end up going back with him, and she kisses him. Like, basically kind of like, I do like you, but also, like, shut up. And also, like, I have power over you. Yeah. Like, I can do whatever I want, and you fucking simp for me, which we all have done because she's a smoke. Yep. She gets out of the car, and he just goes, back in the game. Oh. It's just a great one. Yep. An all-timer. Um, that I can't believe that movie's 25 years old. People also are correct in my spell check. I know I said mo- uh, what a uh, wheat theater. I saw it in a wheat theater. I meant to say what theater I saw it in. Mm. Uh, also, the most awkward car ride of my life. I was like 12, driving back, and my buddy's older sister was in the back seat of the minivan, just getting felt up the whole way. No way. Yeah. So and then it was she was like yeah it was. The mom was like watch those hands back there. <laughs> She goes, this is savage. Mom called she's like, it out. She's like 16, 17. She's like, she's like, I'll keep those hands busy. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. Like, I like kind of knew a little bit of the world, but like to see it up close, you were kind of like, all right, all right, this is fucking chaos. But. Yeah, movie theater makeouts back in the day were, were debaucherous. Just like everyone had a fucking retainer in and is yeah. trying to get their tongue down each other's throats. It's gross looking oh, back. Yeah, it's nuts. So, uh, all right, Phil, give me the last one. Brady from Ohio. Okay. Healthy debate, Rico. I get that Alabama's playing UConn and you like both coaches. But when you go into the postseason, you have to choose one team to root for. Yeah, it's for fucking the Alabama, the guy. It's Alabama. It's Alabama. No, it's not. No, I'm from Ohio. But you cannot choose Alabama over UConn. And then when UConn and Hurley beat them, tail his. Tail I will his not be like, telling him. He's still a friend, but I will not be telling him. But you'll be in UConn gear. No, I will not. That is think, not. I'm only how packing. How do feel? I'm only packing. Exactly why I'm not doing it. I'm only packing one team's gear, my guy. I've also disassembled no, I relationships. Think- I got relationships with people at Clemson. I got relationships with people at Charleston. I was not a fan of them for that day. Multiple people choose two different, three different teams to root for regular season. But once you get in the playoffs, especially two it's teams Bama, in the buddy. Final Four playing think- each other. They've only had me dial it up on streams for Bama games, my guy. I know that, but you cannot root for UConn when UConn beats them on Monday. I will not. Yeah, also, Merles, by the way, love him. Like, great guy. Never what an asshole. <laughs> Try to, <laughs> trying to say I've been hot because I take ground transportation to the games. In my head, I go, I'm going to have to take a fucking bus or a bicycle yeah, to it's phoenix fucked up to put that in your in your psyche. i flew thank you to big cat from the bottom of my heart i flew to that stream thursday and made it work there was a chance i only did i only did ground streams imagine if i didn't fly to that also, stream uh, whew. healthy debate how much is a healthy bet for a team you like in a spot i like the final four game uh, like one or two units. I mean, I don't think you go crazy because you always have that happiness on the line as well. So I'll be betting Bama. You always bet responsibly. Yep. I'll Understandable. be betting Bama. Understandable. I just don't want to tune into the stream Monday and see you no. in decked out UConn here if NATO doesn't well, on the sideline. Again, side if Dave – I will say this. We work for an executive order. If Dave says root for UConn, I will be rooting for UConn. Right now. Understandable. Understandable. Healthy debate. Can't have more unhealthy debates about that job status. I don't follow. Yeah, 
Rico's job status? Whose job status? Did he just hang up? He hung up. How do you drop the mic on that? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's Can't talking have about. more unhealthy debates than on that job status? Is he talking about like your contract negotiations? I don't I don't know. Anybody in the chat knows what he's talking Anybody about. Anybody figure that out? I don't know what that means. I'm fine. That's what I touched on the stream. So was it good to watch games and not have to stand up for eight hours? Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. I mean, most of the time I'm standing up anyway. But would, would you rather stand up for 10 hours and win or sit down for three hours and lose? <sighs> stand up for 10 yeah. and win. Yeah, that's how it is. Exactly. So, uh, Jetski, give me the final final call. Okay, so we're talking about 10 things I hate about you yeah. and potential, you know, simping. What was What's your worst uh, oh. or most egregious act of simping for a, for a female? And if you could oh, lay it out for man. us. I think that people would like to hear that. Oh, man. There's been a bunch, I feel like. The date, the... The self-tanning date, or the tanning booth date, was pretty bad. Was she super tan and super Italian? Oh, like yeah, tan yeah. Or? I basically went to college to try to, ma to marry somebody from Staten Island. Okay. Never really got anywhere. Um, but yeah, she was a pick of the litter on. She was a dime a dozen on Staten Island. Good-looking girl. Uh, I don't think married yet, but good-looking girl. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I think, dude, my simpin' started back in, like, eighth grade. Like, day of graduation, sending flowers the morning at graduation and like getting nowhere damn i think if you were in like a group date like you would be like uh you would like if applebee's you pick up the bill to the girl next to you if you liked her i don't know like little, little like crazy like crazy crazy things i had a girl but like there's some little things that you look back and you're like that was dumb that was really dumb. I had a bad one. I had a girl my sophomore year, um, my fraternity formal, who I was like dating on and off, and then we she started dating a guy who went to West Point, so he had a little bit more social stature. You than joined I the army? No, I didn't join the army, but I had another girl come to formal with me, and she was all about it. But the other girl was, you know, a little bit yeah. more attractive, and I was kind of a little more into her. I brought the obviously the the girl I brought as a date back after um, the the formal work to my apartment, and then the girl who I like really had eyes for, texted me and was like, I'm at the bar, can you walk me home? So I told the girl that I brought home, like, hey, I'm gonna go get us bagels, like it's a 24 hour bagel place. I'm gonna go grab them real quick, I'll be right back. And then I went to go meet up with the girl that like I really had a crush on, walked her back, and then she didn't let me inside. Cause I thought I was gonna oh. get And then I went back and came back and the girl I brought home was asleep. So I didn't get any and I was being selfish. So that was that was my worst sim story. Yeah, I mean we do, you know, you, you get, yeah, you be the hopeless romantic. Yeah, not good. They know what they're doing. They do know what they're doing. It's scary. They know what they're doing. Phil, how is it juggling women? Is that the better way to do it rather than just focus on one? I just stand in the corner and don't <laughs> say anything. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, filming something with Phil tomorrow that'll air on uh, Wednesday. Getting ready for next week with the mini golf. We'll give you a little teaser right now. I was top five last year. We're trying to get into that. I think there's gonna be a cash prize. Um, so trying to trying to win that as well. Okay. So, and I think that also cash prize might depend on UConn. If I'm being honest. All right. So we'll see. Uh, you know, you know how it works. But uh, all right. So that was healthy debate. We'll catch you uh, Wednesday.